Hi everyone, welcome back to episode 1 bajillion of Let's Play Yokai Watch 4. We just beat Suzaku and got the Yokai Watch Animus, uh, Suzaku Sotenzan, and the Suzaku Genju Disc. But, looks like we're not going to get back to the human world that easily. Hmm. It's the humans, says Doketsu. Doketsu, says Toma. Oh no, and he's brought his friends this time. Good day, humans, says Shuden Doji. This is the first time you've met me, isn't it? Well, we saw him as Haria before. Who exactly are you, says Natsume. She doesn't oh. know who he is. Uh, that's just something I want to ask you guys. Did you guys just get some kind of cool sword? For example, the Suzaku Sotenzan? <laughs> he's being annoying. Tuma! Whoa, he's got his Yokai Watch Ogre powers going on there. Everyone, run away! I'll stop these guys. Haha, <laughs> very brave of you, young boy. It's pretty cool how you want to save your friends. Wow, they made Shuten Doji a really arrogant villain, this is great. <laughs> But this is your end. Give me the Yosei Ken. Ooh, we get to fight him. Oh, I get to transform into Suzaku. I hope. Please? Uh oh, both of them at once. Well, we'll try our best. Especially now that we have the Suzaku. Sotenzan. Let's do it. Possession summon. Sick! <laughs> I'm so happy! Let's get him. Focus on Shuten Doji. I'll put a pin in him. Target pin. Done. Alright, we're taking him down first. Oh, we can take all their stats down using uh, Suzaku's power. Very cool. And quick, let's do the finishing move. Oh, missed it, but... Cool, he does that massive chop attack like his boss form did. Back to playing his normal Torma. Hope we can survive. Bam. Ah! Seems like it was a good idea to pin Shuten Doji and then focus on him first. Trying to use heals. Come on, Omatsu. Oh, I don't have enough YP, no! Quick, we need heals for Jibinyan! Alright, we can do it now. Heal, 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 heal! Oh, Jibinyan's dead already, too late. Need to swap in another yokai. Oh, we got Shuten Doji down! Nice job, Komasan. Just one more. Can we heal again? Almost. Matsu's so powerful. I feel like Toma is completely OP in this game. He's got so many different moves. He can do pretty much everything. Just play as Toma from now on. Plus we get all his uh, epic transformations as well. Alright, couple more hits. Take this, Doketsu. Destroyed. Whoa. That fire from Junior. Nice job. Mission complete. Ooh! Um, looks like Junior just learned a new move. Attack up. Didn't know you could get new moves in this game. It's a bit like Busters, I guess. Cool, so we'll keep an eye out for new moves from now on. Huh? Hmm? What's this? Says Kato. Huh. <laughs> I got this from Kieran just before. It's a key. Wait, wasn't this a key for a new world? Isn't that what Kieran said before? Kata says, huh? Where is this connected to? Oh, looks like we might actually be going to a new world. I don't know where we're going, but we've got no other option, says Natsume. Oh, cool camera angle there. 
How are you guys? They're coming. Oh, just in the nick of time. Huh, they ran away. Wait, that's Nekomata! In the loading screen! Oh my gosh! Ah! Nekomata! Looks like we've come to the Forever Friends world! We've been saved, says Keita. Hmm? What? <laughs> we did go to a new world after all. It's really cold, says Akinari. <laughs> Where are we? Huh? Huh? Look at those old looking clothes. <laughs> Where is this? <laughs> Whoa! The town where snow falls. We got that different opening to match uh, Kata's new Elder Watch. Very cool. Alright, finally, chapter 4 begins. I thought we were done for, says Whisper. Nope, we were saved, so it's alright. But where have we come to? And come to think of it, it's really, really cold. Uh -huh. Hmm, snow. This must be winter, says Toma. Good observation. <laughs> Thanks, Captain Obvious. This definitely seems to be the human world, says Akinari. There's no doubt about that. Oh, it's so cold, and my feet are freezing. Oh, it's not even wearing shoes. <laughs> Everyone, look! The door! Huh? What's this? Could it be? Looks like another watch lock, huh? So, what should we do? Hmm, could it be the pattern that we can't return to our original world again? Seems to be that way. Whisper says, you're not surprised by that? Ah, uh, no, I'm a little bit surprised. But this has happened before, so it'll happen again. That's nice and positive of you, Kata. <laughs> Just like Kata. No, they're getting along. I think this is a concerning situation, says Akinari. If we can't use the door, we can't return, right? Uh-huh, yeah, sorry. This symbol, what could it be? We got to search for a solution to get back home. It's too cold here, too. It really is cold, this is the worst. Alright, first we should ask around and find out exactly where we are. Good idea, Akinari. By the way, the symbol on the watch lock there. Looks to be the uh, kanji for Zero, which you guys might know from one of the new watches introduced in the Forever Friends movie, so that's a little bit of a hint if you recognize that. Ah, there we go, it's confirming it. It is indeed the kanji for Zero. So we need a watch relating to the kanji for Zero. Wonder which one that could be. Looks like there are a few places we can ask around in this town. Whoa! Look at that old looking truck! Let's follow it. <laughs> this place seems quite big, although. Hmm. Most of it's water. From the trailers, uh, some of us were guessing that this world. The Forever Friends world would only be like one street because in the trailers they only showed one street of it. So this seems a little more than one street at least. And right here we have 
the Yokai Gacha of this world. But doesn't look like they're letting us use it yet, so we'll have to come back and see that in a little bit. Seeing the Gacha reminds me I have to do my arc scans for the day, so... First up, Goku Orochi. Let's see what we get. Ooh! Ooh, that's a good haul of stuff. Very nice. And next up, the Suzaku Sword Enzyme. Alright, Mega x -Borb, Large x -Borb, pretty good. If we get stuck, we can use those. But still don't have the exclusive items that you can get from these Ultimate Rare Arts. Oh well, we'll get them eventually. Seems like there are a whole bunch of shops and stuff around here too. What's this one? Siberia, it's called. <laughs> What's the Siberia? Uh, it's whatever this is. Okay, <laughs> well. Ooh. What's this? Some spirit pollution. Ooh! It is Nupe Fuhofu, his name is Nupe Fuhofu. What a strange name. For a strange guy, I guess. Okay, let's try fighting him. Nupe Fuhofu. <laughs> I can barely pronounce it, it's such a weird name. Fuhofu. Ooh, there's a Dimmy as well. Get him. I could bring out Suzaku here, but I think that's a bit of overkill considering how weak these guys look. Ooh! Konsui! Nice. Kon suck. Kon get. Ah, it's just a normal Kon. Another Konsui! From Dimmy! Yes, I want them from Dimmy. Come on. Ooh, Red Kon. Very nice. Good job, guys. Oh, another one! Triple Kon get. Ooh. Let's keep exploring and check out the exclamation marks on the map. Here's our first one. Um, excuse me, what is this town? That's a bit of a strange question to ask people. You should usually know what town you're in, shouldn't you? <laughs> oh, this is Springdale. Huh? This is Springdale? Then it's got the same name as the town we live in. Sakura Motomachi, it's called. I'm not sure if that actually is Springdale. Uh, if it's not Springdale, I'll put something up here to check. Could this be related to this town we live in? Hmm, I wonder what's going on. Could it be time travel again? Looks like there are more shops around here. Oh, that's the end of the road though. Something to check out with the watch. More pollution. So it's not the biggest area, but at least there's a bunch of stuff to check out. Pretty cool. Ooh, it's Wakapa, aka Nogappa in Japanese. Very cute. Yeah, let's battle him. Add him to the Uki Ukipedia list. Nice, we beat Wakapa. Where are the next, um, exclamation marks? Looks like they might be across the bridge, actually. Okay, in that case, let's go back. Okay, next person of interest is this woman. Uh, hey, you! You look really cold! Yeah, we sure are. Um, it's just that all sorts of things have been happening and... You do know it's December right now. You'll catch a cold if you wear that kind of clothes. Oh, I see. It's December, huh? So that's why it's so cold. So now we know that it's uh, December. And we're in the same town. But the town looks very different. Final quest marker is here. These boys. He said... Oh, do you guys have that thing at your house? And this kid, kid says, Yes, we do have that thing. 
A color TV. Whoa, awesome. We gotta go check it out. Yeah, I'm never going back to black and white TV. From now on is the age of color. Toma says, black and white TV? Isn't that a thing from forever ago? Could it be the... We're some decades in the past right now. I think you're right, Toma. So this is the Sakura Motomachi of some decades ago. Are we really stuck in this age? Says Akinoni. Uh -huh. <laughs> Seems like that, but I'm just getting so cold. Me too, it's real bad. Uh, where can we heat ourselves up? At times like this, everyone, it's time for that yokai, says Whisper. A yokai you would want at times like this, says Natsume. Ah, it's definitely that yokai. Hmm, who is it? Blazion or someone? Yes, it is. Summon, come on out. Blazion. Whoa, he'll heat us up. Blaze. Please, Blazion, heat us up. Uh-oh, hope he doesn't bake us. <laughs> I don't feel cold at all anymore, says Keita. Nice job, Blazion. As expected of the daughter of the legendary watch user, says Torma. <laughs> Thanks, Marimarion. Blazion. Blaze. Uh, what was that just now? A ghost? Says this mysterious kid. Uh, that kid, could it be that he just saw Blazing on and got shocked? So he can see Yorkai then. Hey, you over there. There's something we gotta ask you. Is that alright? <laughs> he's freaked out. Ah, oh, wait a second! Seems like he's real scared, says Natsume. You think that was my fault, says Akinori? <laughs> I'd be scared too if I randomly saw some giant lion heating some guys up in the middle of the street. Where did he go? Ah, oh, looks like he's under the bridge, huh? Didn't run off very far. Hey, 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 you! Wait up, wait up! Ah, again! Uh, sorry for scaring you just then, but could you see that yokai before? Uh, yeah, uh, who are you guys exactly? Huh? The Yokai Detective Agency? Yep! We help with solving cases related to yokai. Amazing! That's so cool! Wow, that's a quick change of tone from this guy. Ha! Ah, isn't it? You can leave it to me, the chief of the yokai detective agency. <laughs> Even though Akinori only learned how to summon yokai today. Wow, rude Natsume. How dare you say that? Um, there's something we want to ask you, the guy who can see yokai. Um, what's your name? Oh, I haven't told you guys my name yet. My name is... Okay, so herein lies the problem that I mentioned in episode 1. This guy's name is Shin. And what did I name Kata and myself? Uh, Shin. So, I have to call him... Well, I have to call him something to distinguish him from me, don't I? For now, I'm gonna call him Shin Tu. <laughs> so, if you guys see Shin Tu in the text boxes, then it's referring to the guy who's actually called Shin, and if you see Shin, it's referring to me or Keita. I hope I'll be able to tell the difference in the future. Shin Tu, how's that name? Yeah, it's uh, an interesting one. 
My name is Shintu. Nice to meet you, everyone in the Yokai Detective Agency. <laughs> I'm gonna refer to him as Shin, and I'm gonna refer to Keita as Keita from now on, just to make things clear. Nice to meet you, Shin-kun, or Shintu-kun. Ah, and now we get to what we wanted to ask you. Um, above the bridge, there's a door. Do you know anything about it? Ah, that door is... Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> it appeared some number of days ago, says this mysterious yokai. Huh? Who? His name is Su-san of the Omomori tribe. Please, call me Su or Su-san. Shin says, um, this guy is like my guardian spirit or something, it seems. Ah, I'm not really interested though. Wow, rude. <gasps> huh? Guardian spirit? He's really cute, somehow. Wow, this dude speaks in a very formal samurai-like Japanese. This is not going to be fun to read and translate, but I'll do my best, I guess. Seems like they don't really know much about the door, other than it appeared a few days ago. Uh... Hmm, I see, says Keita. Hey, Shin, says Itsuki. Itsuki, a new character. There he is. You went in the spot we agreed to meet. What are you doing over there? <laughs> We've been looking for you. Itsuki, Taya. So the guy on the left, his name is Itsuki, and the girl is Taya. Mm -hmm. Ah, those guys are. Ah. Jin says, they're my friends, and they know all about yokai as well. Maybe they can help with the door. Hi, guys. <laughs> Cute. Those two also know about yokai. This world is amazing. What's Whisper doing in the background? Ah, everybody, wait a second, look at this. It's the gacha I pointed out earlier. This, this, could it be a Krankakai? Huh? Ah, a Krankakai? Oh, isn't that a little bit strange? Is this seriously a Krankakai? No doubt about it. My Krankakai sensor is going like crazy. Ah, nobody believes Whisper that it's actually a Krankakai. <laughs> They're completely uninterested. They're just gonna focus on the door. <laughs> I want to be heated up by Meta Menai on Blazion as well, says Whisper. Poor dude. It is a Krankakai though. Yeah, it is a Krankakai. Let's use it. Well, let's at least look at what we can get from it. Okay, so it looks like you can get Wobblewok, Gilgoros, and that knight guy whose name I forgot. I think it's Reunite or something? Re Reunite. That's it. In English. Uh, not amazing, but that is just the basic gacha coin. And I would like to get Wobble Walk at some point. I love Wobble Walk. And from this crappy old coin, we can get, well, essentially nothing. So I won't be spending on this gacha today. I'll be spending them on the other gacha. The one in the future if we can get back to the future. So I guess we should focus on the task at hand and try opening that door for now. It's gonna take a while, I imagine. Oh, there's a side quest over here. Uh. Hey, hey, listen to me for a second. Um, the truth is, I've got a present for you. Huh? Uh -huh. A, a present? What are you gonna give me? The hint is, it's peach colored and boingy and warm. What on earth? <laughs> hey, hey, are you interested? Do you want it? Okay, I guess we do. I, I guess I am interested, says Toma. Give me that present. Alright, I'll give it to you. Um, you got the fleshy lump, essentially, is what it says. I didn't, I didn't want that. <laughs> You're right, it is warm and fleshy, but what exactly is it? 
I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so this kid just randomly found it and thought it looked gross, so he's giving it away. <laughs> you shouldn't give people things that you don't understand. <laughs> Who gave it to you? Uh, I don't remember. I think I got it at the road near the milk shop at night. So, looks like we have to investigate the road near the milk shop at night for this side quest. Cool. Well, whenever it ends up being nighttime, we'll head over there. Let's check it on the navigation. Right, we can't look at it yet because it's not nighttime. Okay. Well, that's something to keep an eye out for when it is nighttime. And there's another side quest over here. So it looks like I, I just continued the quest a little bit. We need to bring a yokai that lets you blurt out what you're thinking. So she can go and talk to this kid over on the bridge. Uh, I presume that that one would be Tattletail, but we don't have Tattletail yet, so there's nothing we can do about it. That's another quest we're going to have to leave for a while. Okay, what's going on with Itsuki? Maybe if we work together we can figure out how to open that door and get back. Because I want to use the cranky guy again. Hey guys, just a second. Hmm? You brought a yokai with you? What exactly are you guys? The ones following them are good yokai, so don't worry. These guys are friends of yokai. And they're also Yokai Professionals, part of a detective agency. Huh? Yokai as friends? Detective agency? What are you talking about? Good Yokai don't exist. Why are you so mad? says Shin. Taya says, Yokai as friends? That's amazing. How do you get along so well? Oh, you guys, I don't believe it. So it seems like Itsuki has something against Yokai. So you guys know all about Yokai, huh? Says Keito. We're researching about that door over there, but... Ah, the door in the middle of the bridge? That's... Aren't we being a little bit too friendly with these people we don't know, says Itsuki? Yeah... Fair enough to be suspicious of them, they do have these random yokai around them. You guys are really on guard, says Keita. Well, our clothing is a bit strange, so fair enough, says Akinanu. Sure is, look at the difference between their uh, clothes from, when is it? Uh, the year 2030? And these guys, I think they're in the year like 1960 or something like that, so... Actually, maybe it's even earlier than 1960. I don't remember. No. Hey, that thing you guys have. Or those things you guys have. Could they be yokai watches? Huh? Real yokai watches? This is the first time I've ever seen one. Huh? I didn't notice at all, says uh, Shin. You guys know about the yokai watches too? Now these guys know a lot for not having any uh, yokai friends by the looks of it. Well in that case, we can explain quickly. Said Toma. Very well, we'll listen. Uh huh? That gate, that door, it's from the future? That's just too crazy, it's making my head spin. <laughs> of course you guys are surprised. Well, how is it? Are you guys going to believe what we said? Yes. Hmm, we will. We'll give you information about that door. Really? But first, you guys have to do something for us. Um, come to the big mansion around here. Very mysterious, this Itsuki guy. 
I haven't seen the Forever Friends movie, so I don't actually know what's going on. It's a mystery to me, too. Hmm, Toma doesn't know what's going on, but it seems like they can help us out, so let's head over to the big mansion. Okay, here we go, all the way to the other side of town. Look at those pretty vistas. Retro neon signs. So I think this is the same time period you travel back to in Yokai Watch 2, when you meet uh, Keita's grandfather. As far as I know about the same time. Obviously not uh, the other time period from Yokai Watch 2, which is like feudal Japan. That's a bit way too far back. Oh, there's a shop here. Looks like some kind of junk shop. Let's see what they sell. Oh, just all sorts of various foods and a few types of weapons. All right, cool. Well, here it is, the big mansion. Getting a bit stuck on the invisible barriers around here. Just trying to figure out the uh, layout of the streets. A little bit confusing because you can't go to 90% of the areas. Oh, a cute little shrine. Very pretty. Wonder if you can do anything here. Wait, did I just see a yoga? Did indeed. Who is it? Ah, oh, it's this guy! I saw him in the promotional material. I don't know what his name is though. His name is Nari Gama. Very cute. Let's talk to him. He's just gonna give us an item. Alright. I want to befriend one of those guys. They're cute! And that's about it for what's in the shrine right now, at least until we upgrade upgrade our watch rank. <laughs> the snowman, cute. <laughs> and a treasure chest, so it was worth exploring. Oh, two milk. Pretty good. Okay, let's head to the big mansion for real now. Here we are. Man, that looks nice. I bet you there are treasure chests around though. I'm getting distracted again already! <laughs> this is the danger of an open world game. Get distracted every two seconds. I was right, there are treasure chests. Let's see what we can get. Oh, cool! We got a wand, or stuff. And some sandwich thingies. Cool. I don't know what the name of those are. Okay, what does Itsuki have to say to us? So you came. Wow, this really is a big mansion, says Natsume. I wonder what kind of person lives here. Akinori said, is it okay to go in? And Itsuki says, of course it's okay. This is my house. Huh? This is your house? Then there's no problem. Eh, hey, wait a second! This massive mansion is your house? So this must be the young master of the household, says Whisper. <laughs> I'm getting a really not average aura from this place, completely different from you, Kata. Wow. Oof. Yeah, yeah, I'm average, I get it. <laughs> Those two. Itsuki, what are you doing? That house right now. I know, it's dangerous. Hmm, this house is dangerous? That's weird. But there's something I need to check. Something you need to check, says Shin. If those guys have the real yokai watches, then... Ah, so what is it you guys want us to check? Oh. 
<laughs> what? Suddenly, spirit energy out of nowhere. Everyone look out, something's coming. Oh, it looks like the place is infested with yokai right now. So that's why they needed the more cheeses to come over. It's Nupe Pufu again. <laughs> I hate that name, it's so hard to say. Nupe Pufu. Let's beat him up so we don't have to worry about it anymore. Take this. Nice, I think I'm finally getting the hang of this battle system. Almost there, come on guys. Nice, we did it! Easy! Tom is gonna get super strong if I just keep using him. That surprised me. Seems like a strange situation. They just appeared out of nowhere. Mm, I'm feeling some kind of bad spiritual vibes from this mansion, says Whisper. That's exactly it, says Itsuki. The yokai have taken over the mansion. Are you guys all alright? Yep, we're fine. Amazing! As expected of the Yokai Detective Agency. <laughs> Sorry we made you search around here. It's just that you guys have that, the real thing that helps you search. Uh, that? Uh, by that, could you mean the Yokai Watch? So, you want us to use it to investigate the mansion? Yes. Yeah, it's dangerous around here. Let's go somewhere else, and we can talk about the door. Okay. Let's go somewhere safer to talk about getting back to our original world. Go real fast on my bicycle. I wish the map was a little bit bigger, because these streets are so huge, I can't see anything. Ah, he wants us to go over here. Alright. Nice. So, as we said before, that mansion has been taken over by all these yokai that appeared. <laughs> these yokai that appeared? Uh, what happened exactly? Yes. Well, we'll talk about what happened to us first. Right now, there's a yokai around. It has an appearance like some kind of beast. And it seems to be consuming human souls. Very spooky. People's souls? Scary. Seems that like no matter what era you're in, there are yokai that want to hurt humans. So why did such a dangerous yokai appear here? Said Toma. Um, that is... It came to eat my mother and Itsuki's sister's souls. Whoa. What? That's terrible, says Natsumi. The adults wouldn't believe it when we told them about, about the yokai. Now we don't know where the yokai's gone. I believe what my late father always said. Uh, it's a proverb kind of thing. Something along the lines of um, the strongest wishes will always come true. No matter your situation. Therefore, we will never give up until the end. We're going to save my mother and the others. I presume by the others he's referring to Itsuki's sister. It's decided. My family knows a lot about the yokai, so I taught these two, said Taya. So that's how they all know about yokai stuff, despite not having watches. She taught me about the existence of yokai watches, says Itsuki. And finally, I found a yokai watch for myself. 
Wow, you found a yokai watch on your own? That's amazing! So that's why Itsuki can see the yokai watches. But when I was at home, the yokai Yamanba, which is the yokai shown there, suddenly appeared out of nowhere. Ah, scary! Why? Hmm, who knows? Yamanba appeared in front of me, and then one by one, more and more yokai appeared. Those guys aimed for my yokai watch. I dropped my yokai watch and ran off. But why did Yaman Ba appear? I don't know, says Itsuki. Ah. However, I know that the yokai watches have something to do with the doors. Uh. Hmm? Something to do with the doors? The box that the yokai watch was kept in had the zero symbol on it. So the same symbol as the door, huh? Zero or zero. I see. It matches the zero on that door. So without the yokai watch with the same zero written on it, we probably won't be able to open the door. Ah, I get it. So it's decided. Now it's the turn of the yokai watch detective agency. Ah, could it be that you're going to get the yokai watch back from inside the mansion? It's alright, believe in us. Oi. If you're going, it would be best that you learn more about Yamanba, so that big yokai that's haunting the mansion. If you can discover its weak point, that might lead to a victory. Around this town, various rumors have spread about yokai thanks to Yamanba. Maybe you guys could go around and get information from people. That might help, right? That's a nice idea. Whisper says nice idea in English there. Alright, everybody, let's search around the town for information first. So we're going to try and find out Yamanba's weak point. So we can go and fight Yamanba. And then we can get back the Yokai Watch Zero which is what we need to open that door on the bridge and get back to our original well. Seems pretty straightforward, I think. Anyway, let's do that on the next episode of Yokai Watch 4. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, as usual. If you enjoyed it, why not leave a like down below? And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Um, you can join us on the Yokai Watch 4 journey as we continue in chapter 4 of Yokai Watch 4. Wow, double 4 there. Nice, if only it was episode 4. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.